For some time now, fisher folk at the Bone Head Pond had to live with a nuisance of invasive weeds taking away their livelihoods. This was once the favorite spot for tilapia, anchovies and others. But it's a different picture now due to low catch. The presence of the aquatic weeds makes navigation on the river difficult and unsafe for fishing. The timely intervention by the Ghana Maritime Authority is within its mandate to provide safe waterborne transport. The schema is able to cut or extract large quantities of weeds, either entangled or overgrown, collect the weeds from the river onto the conveyors and safely disposed of. These ones are very dense, so I think the strategy has been to cut them up and use the schema to push them and then the excavator picks them up. So when it comes to the lighter ones, that one, the schema alone can work on it. But uh, we think for now, we have seen it's very, very efficient. Like I said, it used to be like a whole village. You could walk on it. But now, even with the trials, a lot of work has been done. And uh, we think this is going to go a very long way. The Volta River Authority, VRA, taking over the two schemas, say it is working to minimize the impacts of the weeds on the lake. For those of you who have seen an aerial view of this, this is a huge chunk of weeds on the water body, which we will have to deal with. So we are very grateful that we have Ghana Maritime Authority intending to support us and also supporting us with their schemas. What their schemas is going to do is that once we clear the major weeds, they are going to help maintain the floating weeds. In the past, the VRA had contracted a firm for the exercise which suffered some setbacks due to intermittent breakdown of the weed harvester. Now, fisher folk are hopeful of revived economic activities at the Pond Head Pond again. Okay. Authorities shut down concerns that the machine was not environmentally friendly and could destroy fish in the lake. Four years ago, when I visited the Pong Head Pond, it was a moment of anger, frustration and despair because fisher folk had no clue when help was coming. But today it is a different story. And with the skimmers that have arrived here, there is hope of regaining their livelihoods in these challenging times in the country's history. This is Clara Mlano reporting for GBC News.